right now on Chronicle in High Definition. More than a game. It's a simple but really powerful belief that sport can bring kids together. All the way from Ireland, Catholic and Protestant kids are teaming up in Weston. The ocean has no barriers. It's all hands on deck at this Boston Sailing School. There are no obstacles except the ones that you might set up yourself. Keeping up with the campers at the Mass Hospital School. If there's a will, there's a way. Summer fun gets serious, next on Chronicle. Well, the Olympics are winding down for most of us, but not for one local competitor who hasn't even left yet for Beijing. She'll be on her way soon. Till then, Anthony Everett reports it is smooth sailing in East Boston for this inspirational athlete and for the exceptional program she runs. One of many frustrations for disabled children is being shut out of most sports. But at Piers Park Sailing Center in East Boston, there is only one rule for participating. All hands on deck. I think empowerment is the primary goal here. We want to empower people with disabilities to be able to do a sport that they probably otherwise would have never thought they could do. The Piers Park Sailing Center is a hidden gem. Kids without any experience can learn to sail for free and sail for free all summer. But it is their adaptive program that has received national attention, an inclusion-based curriculum that integrates children with disabilities alongside their able-bodied peers. These kids, um, especially those with CP and spina bifida, they endure so many operations and so much medical stuff. It's just so great that they can just come out and just be kids. I'm here to tell you that it really isn't all that complicated. You can really simplify it down to tolerance, respect, and adaptability. That's all you need to keep these kids in a program. Nine-year-old Jared has cerebral palsy. Fourteen-year-old Austin, also with CP, sails alongside his brother Andrew, who is hearing impaired. But limitations here matter not, says coordinator Maureen McKinnon-Tucker because sailing is the ultimate team sport. And, by the way, she is disabled herself. If I can't use my legs very well, well then I'll have somebody else on the team who can use their legs very well. But I've got a really strong upper body, so therefore I make up for the other guy who may be perfectly able-bodied, but, you know, is a little weak in the uppers. You know, and so we all work together as a team to get that boat moving. And that is the beauty of the sport of sailing. McKinnon Tucker was a casual sailor before she was paralyzed in a freak fall in 1992. But after her injury, sailing became part of her mental therapy, then an obsession. The ocean has no barriers. And for those of us who have gravity not on our side, going out on the water provides so much freedom. And we leave our wheelchairs at the dock and we just go sailing. In September, Maureen sets sail on the adventure of a lifetime. She is bound for China, where she will compete against the top disabled sailors in the world. Racing a two-person Scud 18 keelboat, it is said her team has a realistic chance of striking gold. I'm very proud to have been the first woman to make the United States team. I'll be the first woman to make, who has made, the Paralympic team and go to Beijing this year. And maybe, just maybe, I could be the first woman to win a medal in the sport as well in Paralympic sailing. To her colleagues at the sailing center, win, lose, or draw, McKinnon Tucker is already a champion. I don't know of anyone on this earth who um, cares more about uh, making possibilities happen. Um, um, th there are no obstacles except the ones that you might set up yourself. Another measure of her impact, one of the teens employed by Maureen now plans a career working with disabled children. One instructor in particular has come to me and she has said that she's actually going to switch her major. So you can't really impact anybody any larger than that. Back on Boston Harbor, a glorious morning and heavy wind greet this small army of eager sailors. No one is more appreciative than Jared Moore's mother, who 
through several mornings a week, commutes here from Bedford, New Hampshire. You know, Jared has several palsy, but it's not all of who he is, and it gives him a chance to be free. And this gives him he, something where he feels like one of the kids, and he feels a, a strength, and uh, you know, he has confidence. We know that we have them hooked because they go home and they talk to their parents about sailing all day long, and they tell us the parents tell us that they almost can't get the kids to actually shut up about sailing because that's all they talk about all day. Next Wednesday, Maureen McKinnon Tucker leaves for China to begin her quest for gold at the Paralympic Games in September. Her sailing partner at the Games, Nick Scandoan, suffers from ALS. That didn't stop him from being named U.S. Sailing's Rolex Yachtsman of the Year in 2006. However, the progression of the disease has forced him to change from solo sailing to teaming up with a partner in a two-person boat. And that's just how he met Maureen.